What's up, guys? This is a Divine Masculine Twin Flame update for the collective. The overall energy of the reading, we have the Nine of Earth. We have the Trickery card. Nine of Earth, Trickery, and Ten of Pentacles. What is this saying? This is saying that by following the Divine Masculine's heart's desires, he or she enters into a new phase of life. So, the cards in this reading will all be referring to obtain, obtaining wealth, obtaining status, entering a new stage and phase of life, a more abundant one, by attuning to who you are as a person, as a divine being on earth, as God on earth, and following your true heart's desires. So, before I continue this reading, I realized that, and I might start adhering to this, but most of the people watching or a lot of people watching these twin flame updates are only looking at it from a partnership standpoint so very low vibe um now the partnership is important but it's like um it's people looking for codependencies really because they aren't trying to master the dualities of themselves again you guys know that we're both masculine and feminine um that makes us one with god so with ourselves and God. So, but anyway, if I do a reading and I turn this into a relationship reading, you know, a lot, it gets lots of views or whatever. But if I'm talking about the dualities of yourself and how to master your own life and how to become one with yourself and God, and then partner with your masculine, um, it's like people aren't interested but I'm looking for people who are mastering the dualities of their selves. The journey that I'm on and the journey that a lot of light workers are on themselves. Now, this is the vibe that I'm getting from this reading. This is about a, a masculine feminine energy, a divine person, a six God, a Horus, Jesus Christ, whatever you want to call yourself here on earth, mastering the dualities of yourself. So if you're looking for a relationship update, this isn't that. But in order to get to that divine partnership and relationship, especially one that is not a distraction, one that is everlasting and eternal, you first master your own individual duality. Secondly, you have quests. First thing I want to talk about, this quest card, this is also coupled with the strength card and the eight of cups. What is this? 88. What's that? The number for resurrection, um, restoration, being uplifted for, in a divine level, taken to the next level because you have the strength and walked away from things that didn't serve you, bringing you to abundance and recognition and vitality and energy, new phases of life. Um, look at the star card. One of the best it's like, you know, people know you now. It's like you don't have to put yourself out there or try to express your value because people see your value. They see your worth. You're abundant. You're attracting wealth like the first card said. You're bringing in. You're, you're manifesting your desires. Because you overcame the obstacle and you saw the journey through to the end. You have the strength. You have the strength to see the journey to the end. And you walk away from your old life, so that and you took the journey to your new life, to resurrection, to stardom, to vitality, to energy, to recognition, to being at the next phase, the next level of life that you deserve as a divine manifestation on earth, as God on earth, as a six God, as a representative of light. This isn't just for you. Like the quest is not just for you um, to resurrect and make money or whatever. The, the quest is for you to resurrect and be the light in other people's lives and show them the way and to touch people with their gifts and to become one with their self and teach others to do the same so if masculine is on this journey to resurrection that's probably why things don't appear as they seem for example if you read the bible if you read the bible you know that when jesus was resurrected before that happened he was killed on the cross that didn't look very promising to the disciples in fact the people that was with him his mom everyone else forgot 
what his purpose was and what he told them was going to happen and why because it's so horrific to go through the negative when you're in a process you have to you know everybody goes through the cross moment everybody goes through the journey in the process and it doesn't seem promising it doesn't seem like what was promised it doesn't seem positive so but from in retrospect we know that jesus had to die on the cross in order to go to the other side and resurrect and be the symbol of liberation for everyone else whether you believe in jesus or not i really don't give a fuck at this moment because i'm not energy for it tonight but it's just basically saying whatever your story whatever you believe in it is the road to liberation but in order to get there you have to get through this phase that it doesn't look so good but it really is because you're entering this new phase of life and it's leading you to resurrection restoration, abundance, stardom, recognition, maybe even fame for some. Lastly, we have the perfection card with the five of earth. This may be alluding to a lack of fruit. On the perfection card, you see that she's bearing fruit. But with the five of pentacles, it's like lack and not receiving, loss. And the perfection card is also about transformation. So there is something missing. Or in your perception, in the perception of the masculine, there is something missing. Miss, missing. And that could be the, the obstacle that the masculine has to overcome this week or um, right now. Again, perception. The ability to see it from a different light. The ability to see the fruit as it's bearing. Instead of what you don't have. Look at what you do have and overcome this obstacle of insight. Then you have justice. Justice will be served. That This is a little to balance and this also a little to justice. You're going to, it's a give and take. Once you give the positive energy, it flows back to you. Because you also have a high priestess. It's like, go within. Seek new insight and clarity. Follow your intuition because it's right. But this outer appearance or this need for perfection or whatever this card is alluding to. I believe it's alluding to um, fruit, a lack of fruit. Whatever it is, is clouding your vision. But if you go within and seek new insight and clarity, you know that justice is being served. Follow your intuition. Overcome this obstacle of a lack of insight. Because our, I believe our masculines are not just masculines anymore. They're also feminines. So you have the ability to attune to your intuition and your higher self and higher knowing. You know that transformation is happening. But you let, re, quote unquote, reality get in the way of your vision or cloud your vision. You let this lack cloud your vision. And I understand. It's so real. You let this cloud your, cloud your vision. Instead of seeing things for the way they are, and which is a transformation occurring, fruit bearing, abundance on the horizon, and resurrection. When I pulled the clarifying cards, I also got the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. And right under there is the moon. So things are happening, you just don't see it. Fruit is bearing, you just don't see it. Things are being birthed for you. Opportunities are coming, you just don't see it. But it's coming right out the blue. Page of Cups is right under there. Anyway, so I wish you love, light, and more life. Peace. Come to the edge, he said. We might fall, they said. Come to the edge, he said. It's too high, they said. Come to the edge, he said. They came, he pushed them, and they flew.